Today, I'm going to show you how to make a microphone out of a matchbox. Start by taking an empty matchbox and remove the drawer. Then, using a sharp pencil, pierce two holes in the end of the drawer, about a centimetre apart, like this. Turn it around and do the same on the other side. Next, if your pencil has got an eraser on it, pull it off. Then, using a sharp knife, carefully split the pencil into two and take out the lead. You might want to do this on a chopping board. Consider wearing safety gloves and do be careful not to cut yourself. Next, take a length of lead, then using an open pair of scissors, carefully scratch a flat spot all the way along. Then poke it through the holes in your matchbox, like this. Twist it so the flat spot is at the top, then snap it off so you've got about one centimetre sticking out of each end. Do exactly the same again with another lead. Then take another piece of lead, which has also got a flat side. Snap it so it fits just inside of the matchbox, widthwise. Then place it flat side down so it sits on the other two leads without rolling. It should look like this. And that's our microphone made, believe it or not. And now we need to wire it up. Start by taking one of these batteries and connect a lead to it with a crocodile clip. Then connect the other end to one of the leads on your microphone. Connect another lead to your battery and a third lead to the other lead on the microphone. To hear the noise captured by the microphone, we're going to use a pair of earphones. I'd recommend using something very cheap in case they get damaged. These came free with an old mobile phone. Next, connect one lead to the very tip of the headphone jack, like this, and the other lead to the base, here. As these are stereo headphones, we'll only get sound out of one side, but put them both in so you can find out which one. Next, try gently tapping the microphone. You should be able to hear it coming through one of the speakers. Pretty cool, huh? But we haven't finished there. We're now going to extend the cable so we can use it in a different room. Take some speaker cable and strip back the ends, like this. We're then going to disconnect our earphones and connect the clips onto the speaker wire. Unroll the wire into another room. If you like, you can even go upstairs to the other side of the house. Then strip the wires as before, clamp on another two leads, and connect that to your headphone jack, same as we did before. Then get someone to tap, talk or sing into the microphone, and you should be able to hear it all the way from the other side of the house. Pretty cool, huh? This is a great science project to do with children, and if you make two, you could even talk to each other. On the subject of headphones, when I'm editing my videos, I use these truly amazing headphones from Meze. They're superb quality and they're individually handcrafted from ebony wood. The sound quality is absolutely great and they're really well priced. You can find a link to their website in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links on the right hand side or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun and as always, thanks for watching.